Hey folks, Bridges here. I was asked to make a short tutorial video on how to create this uh, 3D initial block, which is when you look at it from one side, it's your first initial. And when you look at it from a perpendicular side, it becomes your second initial. Uh, and when you look at it from two sides at once, it becomes your, it's like a weird 3D looking block thingy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make that. All right, so to do this, Let's go ahead and create a new design if you are not in one in Fusion 360. All right. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a new sketch. So we're going to click on the Create Sketch button, and it gives us three options. Where would you like to create this sketch in space? And we want to start with choosing this front plane right here, this middle box. It's like a diamond shape. So go ahead and select the front plane. You'll notice that your view cube is now looking at the front of this empty space. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use the sketch tools to drop down the create toolbar and let's find the text option. Okay, so from here, let's create some text. Um, we're going to create a text box um, along this x axis, starting along here. So click once, uh, maybe about three quarters of an inch away from the origin in the negative direction on the x axis. Click once. Now move your mouse over and to the right about the same distance in the positive x direction and then about nah, two inches down below the origin. So that gives us a nice good sized um, text box and it gives us a dialog box. Well, We don't want ours to say sample text, so I'm just going to type in this text box my first initial, an A. Okay, And I'm also going to make sure that the height is um, at one, one half inch or 0 0.5 inches. At this point, I can go ahead and say OK. And I can use my, I can hover my mouse on my letter and use my scroll wheel to zoom in to fit it perfectly. All right, to, to zoom in. Now, I want my letter to be sort of centered on that origin. So I guess I made my box too big. So let's move it over so it's centered on that origin, but also below that red line. That's the x axis. So once I'm satisfied, I will click Finish Sketch. Now remember, we were just sketching on the front. If I go up and view my home view, you can see it from the front as well as the side. You can sort of see it at an, an angle. That's called the isometric view. So now that my sketch is done, I'm gonna go ahead and extrude that A shape right up here next to the new sketch. I'm gonna go to extrude. And it first says, what would you like to extrude? Well, it already has, it only has one thing to extrude. So it gives me the arrow that I can pull out and create a 3D, 3D object in space. Well, that's nice. So I'll just pull it out about that far, whatever. But what's important here, folks, is that we change this one side instead of coming straight out of the paper. Let's change that one side to symmetric so it goes out to the front and out to the back at the same time. Yeah, that's nice. We like that. So we'll say OK. Now let's repeat that process. We'll make another new sketch. And this time we'll choose the side. OK, this is the top looking little diamond, okay, which is actually the right side, you'll notice, of the of the view. So let's choose that right side plane, and it now changes our view to be looking at the right side of your previously extruded letter. I'm zooming in a little bit to fit, and I will again choose Create and Text, and this time I sort of know where to make my text box. I want to make everything fit inside this gray area, so I'll click once to begin the text box, and wants to end the text box at the other corner. And now I have got my opportunity to write my second initial in there. For me, that would be a B. And look at that. It fits nicely in that area. It is exactly half an inch tall. We can go ahead and say OK. And we can go ahead and say Finish Sketch. Again, looking at it from the home view, the corner. Now we want to, once again, extrude our new shape. And this time, it doesn't, it's not quite sure what I want to extrude. And I'm having a hard time selecting that B. There it is if I select there. But if you're having a hard time selecting your new shape to extrude, okay, I recommend going over here and turning off the visibility of your previously extruded body. So we'll just close that little eyeball down. Now it allows me to easily click on the B to be extruded. And once again, we will pull it out as an extrusion into space. Uh-oh, it's giving me an error. That's not good. I don't like that. And I'm going to change that one side to symmetric. Okay, 
And I think why it's giving me an error is right here. I don't want a new body. I want it to be an intersect between both bodies. Okay? I'll put out just a little bit more. Now, I won't forget to turn my bodies back on. So now it's doing an intersection between the B and the previously extruded A. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And that is how you end up with this neat little extrusion. Don't worry if that didn't make sense to you or if, if I went a little too fast. Um, we, will, we were going to take a lot of time this year to learn these tools that we just did. And uh, it'll, it'll take some time and we'll get there. Okay. But in the meantime, feel free to um, 3D orbit, uh, sorry, free orbit this around using the little orbit tool down here. By the way, the keyboard shortcut for that is hold shift key and press click in on your mouse wheel to free orbit around. Okay, you can look at it from any particular viewpoint that you like. All right, and now we're back to where we began. Thanks for watching.